Okay, welcome to another amazing IED project. This is the Glasses Project. It's a new project for 2016 where we are going to use 3D sketching to create our very own pair of glasses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and create a new part file. And then we're going to do a couple of things to get started. And it's going to require a little bit of involvement from you. We are going to design glasses, or more particularly, you're going to be designing glasses that fit you. So in order to get the right thing, like the right size and everything, you're going to have to kind of dimension like parts of your face to get enough information to actually design the correct parts of the glasses. So I'm gonna open up a paint file. I'd probably recommend opening up your engineering notebooks and start to collect some data. Okay, so let's start with some of the data that we're gonna need. And I'm gonna use the pencil tool for this. Um, let's go ahead and say that this is your ear. You know, like, that's like the inside. Okay, something like that. That's your ear. Just, just go with it. Uh, glasses have a couple components to them. You know, they have kind of the part that hangs back a little bit, sometimes more than or less than this. Um, and they also have this portion that goes on beyond here. And this is kind of where your eye is. You know, you're kind of looking out, you know, if this was kind of where your skull is. And then you have the glasses portion kind of over here if you can imagine. So what dimensions we're probably gonna need are the length from here to here. So let's say I measured mine um, and I'm just going to take the side of my head and okay. So that's probably about 1.2 inches for me. So this is gonna be 1.2 inches. And I can do this just with a ruler, and I'm actually holding a ruler right now. And then the other part is, and I'm just kind of pressing it against myself and then like moving it off and reading it. And this looks about, you know, about four inches or so. Let's go ahead and say 4.2, it's a little, a little close. So that's about 4.2 inches. So there's some data. So I have in total here 5.4 inches. And now I'm going to look at the front of the glasses. So, you know, in front of you, you have your two eyeballs. And you also have your, like, your nose somewhere, like, over there. Just go with it once again. And I'll, I'll undo that, like, kind of there. Not much better. Um, and what I'd like you to do is kind of measure from the side where that the kind of the side, you know, glasses are kind of sticking outward. Um, and you want to measure like kind of past one of your eyeballs. So imagine like the ruler going outward and you're measuring kind of where your eye is. And I kind of have a measurement here. And it looks about probably about 3.2 inches. So I'm gonna have some kind of glass here that, you know, if the glass, you know, this is kind of where it ends, like this part is like this part over here, and then it's going out probably about 3.2 inches. And I'd say that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of close to like the halfway point. So that's kind of where my nose is. So that's 3.2. So maybe this is probably about 2.5. Um, and if that's 3.2, then most likely the other side is 3.2 as well. And that's probably about, you know, 0.5 or so. So what do I have here? This is the total length of this part is gonna be 6.4 inches. And in the middle of that 6.4 inches, this is, let's go ahead and just say it's 1.4 inches. So total length, probably probably about five for the two eyes. Okay, um, and if you have glasses, you know, you can just measure out your glasses and that's going to probably expedite the process. But you know, you wanna get some basic measurements so you know how to set this up. Okay, so 
let's head back to Inventor and start a 2D sketch first. Like I said, we're going to be 3D sketching for this project. We're going to use a 2D sketch to give us some good reference marks. I'm going to start a sketch over here on this plane. And I'm going to just draw out the total length of my side. So I said it was 5.4 inches, so I'm just going to draw a horizontal line that is 5.4 long. And I'm going to finish this sketch. And now I'm also going to open up my origin folder. So over here in my browser, click the plus, look for, let's start with this plane. This plane, the kind of the plane you drew that line on and right click on it and turn on the visibility. And that's looking fine. And now what I'd like you to do is go click on plane up here. And I want you to click on this point twice. So once, twice. And if you click it twice, it will create a plane on that given point, which is kind of what we want because we kind of want to also get a reference for this area. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this surface. And if you kind of followed that, this is kind of where the line is. It's like right here in the center. And looking back at my sketch, I said the whole thing has to be 6.4 inches. So I'm just going to draw a line, you know, kind of, I guess in the center is fine. And draw this line 6.4 inches. Hit enter. Um, I guess I could have also, yeah, let's go ahead and actually make that 3.2 because I'm probably just going to mirror these glasses. So 3.2, finish sketch, and there we have it. Some good reference markers for our project. Okay, so let's go ahead and start 3D sketching. What I'd like you to do is go underneath where it says Start 2D Sketch. Click on that and then switch over to your Start 3D Sketch option. And once you click on that, there's nothing else to click on. You're automatically in 3D Sketch mode. So be very careful what you click on in this mode because it can kind of mess things up. What I'd like you to do is on your view cube, click on the front view. And it's going to take you, you know, to that side profile with the 5.4. And we're going to go to the line tool, although feel free to use the arc if you'd like to. Um, yeah, I'm going to use probably a mixture of both. And I'm going to click on line. And I'm just going to kind of draw out, like I said, 1.2 inches long. And I'm going to use this 5.4 as reference. So if, you know, 1.2 of this is probably not that far, maybe, maybe somewhere around here, but I probably want to go a little bit lower as well, because that's going to interfere. Let's go maybe about here. Oops. And that's kind of getting in my way. Okay, so maybe, maybe like here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of an arc on it using the arc tool. And right now this should just feel like traditional 2D sketching to you. And then I'm going to kind of take this part and run it along over to the front of the glasses. Uh, now, it depends on the glasses, but a lot of them kind of have a slight curve upward. Um, for those of you who wear glasses, it's not a perfectly straight, although there are a few types like that, but there's a slight, you know, angle to it. So I'm going to say maybe that's about it. And I've clicked over there. And now in a traditional 2D sketch, you know, you'd probably hit escape and finish the sketch, but we're in a 3D sketch. So what I want you to do is still be holding on to your line. But now you're going to use the view cube and you're just going to kind of turn it so you're facing the front of your glasses. So I turned it, I'm facing the front, but I'm still holding the line. And now we're going to kind of draw in the rest of it. So first off, there's always like a little bit of excess, like little space before your lens actually starts. And I'm going to just give a small amount, maybe that much. Click over there. And now we're designing the frame of the glasses. So you can come up with any cool design or concept. Um, what should I do? I guess I'm going to, hmm, didn't really think this one through. 
I'm gonna design huh maybe maybe there's some kind of like maybe glasses that look like miniature houses or something so you know some kind of shape like that click over there maybe I got to keep track of my distance because I have a finite amount if you recall I want to stop kind of at the 2.7 mark you know click over there maybe once over here oh these are looking actually pretty cool and kind of just you know continue it along and I do want to click over there I'm going to press escape and I'm going to click back on line and I'm going to click back here and just kind of follow this pathway. I'm just kind of working with a shape here. And then kind of connect it back, just like that. Okay, so we've created the frame. This is kind of where my, uh, my nose goes. And yeah, it's kind of, you know, if you think about it on glasses, it's kind of a little more rounded. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this line, delete it, and draw in, you know, a partial arc probably. Maybe something like that. And who knows, it might work, might not work, but let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, we've done it. If I turn my, my view, you're going to notice that we've kind of created a sketch in 3D. So this is a 3D sketch. And yes, it is a very basic 3D sketch, but it is still technically a 3D sketch. So let's go ahead and finish this. And we're going to wrap this up in the next video. So I'll see you then. Peace.